Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos bringing you another Division 2 Best PvE solo build video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty dope ass Hunter Fury build that I just put together. And there's something that makes this build unique for my Hunter Fury builds or any build that I've been putting together. So I found a new skill that I like to run with it. It's the Demolisher skill. And watch, I'll go ahead and show you guys how well this shit actually works with this build. Now, bear in mind that I do not have my Memento backpack built up at all right yet. And I don't know if I'm going to catch this convoy. But we are going to try. Alright, here we go. Let's lock these fuckers in. And what makes this build work is you're going to want to go to your global settings and put on scavenge skills. So that way you could pick up, your, whenever you pick up a memento tag, you only need a few to pick up your skills to replenish your skills, which is pretty cool, I think. Quit running. All right, so we are going to go ahead and push on some more resource convoys or control points or whatever so I can show you guys exactly how I put this build together and what works with it and show you guys how well it actually works once that memento buff gets built up. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to Tactical Chaos on the Grind. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you being here. If you guys are enjoying the video and you guys want to help grow the channel, you guys could definitely show the support by hitting that subscribe button real quick. Don't forget to pop that notification bell so you don't miss out on future chaos uploads. Now let's go find some more fuckers to go smash out with this build. I'm absolutely loving it, dude. Oh, we're just going to hit this one because... Actually, I could just go and run to it. I think I can catch up to that fucker. No, I don't know. I got to get going. I'm reloading. Don't Why do I feel like I'm just hitting every little fucking obstacle to slow me down? It's absolutely driving me nuts. Cool, we'll get up here. It should be right by the control point anyway. So that way we can go ahead and hit that too. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye, boys. There we go. I think we might have stopped them in time. What's up, fuckers?
Oh, is that fucking black tusk over there? Really? You guys want some too? Let's go find something else to run. Aha! One more control point, um, one more resource convoy, and we will be done with the run. And I will go ahead and show you guys the build that I'm running. So the reason why I love hitting resource convoys, I got three directives active. You basically up your shade level every time you hit one, and I can usually smoke a resource convoy in one minute or two minutes. Alright, let's put this shit to work. All right, you guys, let's go over the build that I'm running right now. It's probably most definitely one of the best Hunter Fury builds that I've ran in a long time. So, what I'm running right now, I got the Technician Specialization with the Link Laser and the Extra Skill Tier. Now, the Extra Skill Tier definitely comes in handy with this build, so let's go over how I got it. We are at 1.3 mil armor with... Um, 1200 rounds per minute on the Vector SBR 98k damage. The Negev LMG, which I just have left over from my Heartbreaker build. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch that to the Lady Death. And then we got Finisher on the pistol. So for my... Oh yeah, and we have the Link Laser with Flatline on my uh, Vector SBR, which has um, SMG damage, critical hit chance, and damage to target out of cover with 15% amplified damage to pulsed enemies. And then... With the and the link laser allows us to pulse enemies. The Hunter Fury gear set build for the mask. I got armor and critical hit damage and a critical hit damage mod for the um, holster. I have 15% weapon damage, 12% critical hit damage. Knee pads, weapon damage, critical hit damage. Gloves, weapon damage, critical hit damage. And then for my backpack, the Memento backpack, we have four weapon damage attributes, three armor, and one skill tier, or we do have two skill tiers. So every time we grab a, a trophy, we collect for 10 seconds, we get a short term buff, which is going to be 20% weapon damage, 30% bonus armor, and 10% skill efficiency. The long term buff will be 30% weapon damage at max stacks, and 30% skill efficiency with 3% armor regen. And it does have three core attributes, weapon damage, armor, and a skill tier with expertise level one and um, a critical hit damage mod. For my chest piece, we got closer, the perfect 
spotter. We have uh, total armor on the UG brand set, armor on the attribute, CHC and CHD and CHD mod. With perfect spotter on here, increases total weapon damage and skill damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. That's why you want to pulse your enemies with your link laser. And you will go ahead and activate your flatline talent. And also, my skill, what makes this build so fun to run, is my Demolisher Firefly. We're at Tier 2, 2 max target, 70% speed, 70% damage. It targets enemies' weak points, which is cool, because sometimes, like, if you're fighting Outcast, it causes confuse on any of um, on whoever's in that little radius when it destroys their weak points. Um, others, like True Sons, might have explosions or confuse too. Either way, it causes good status effects and allows you to do a lot more damage without them coming at you quicker. It gives you more time to, you know, end them. And then we definitely, I got the uh, Crusader Ballistic uh, Shield that allows me to have my SMG with it. This is at Tier 5 because of the, our armor attributes and skill attributes. And what's really cool about it... Uh, wait, is when you have scavenged skills every time you kill an enemy and they drop a tag you just go ahead and uh, pick those tags up and it will cool down your skills after three or four and you don't got to wait for your skill to be uh you know hit cool down so as long as you're getting kills you're um you're uh, cooling down your skills like extremely faster than they would have making this Put on scavenge skills in your global settings so your firefly will work a lot better. If you guys want to stick around and watch, I'm going to go ahead and take down this control plane so I show you guys a little bit more how it works. Other than that, thank you guys for taking your time to watch my videos. And then, of course, the Hunter Fury build causes confused to enemies that are within the radius of the kill zone when you kill an enemy so this causes a lot of good status effects also you get armor on kill and oh shit I didn't read I'm sorry guys I did not read the I didn't read the um, Hunter Fury talent. My bad. Hold on, we will go over that as soon as we're done with this. Well, what the talents are, um, you got... Hold on. All right, here, let's go over that shit real quick. So, the Hunter Fury gives you 15% shotgun damage, 15% LMG da I mean SMG damage, 20% armor on kill, and 100% health on kill with Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients all enemies within 5 meters and amplifies your weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking 5 times. So, Apex Predator will give you 45% weapon damage when it's out of smacks. And also confuses enemies that are within the range, within 5 meters of the kill. Alright, here we go. Let's go wait for these fuckers to come out and we're going to go ahead and uh...
Alright, you guys, thank you guys for watching, and catch you on the next video.